I love vintage stuff. Like I'm actually obsessed with it. Make sure to check out my side hustle below. And a lot of times when automakers want to come out with something nostalgic, it has the potential to be really lackluster because they don't go all in. Luckily, that's not the case at all with this Ford Bronco Sport Heritage, which pays homage to the original Broncos from the 1960s. I love how it all comes together because Ford put so much effort into it and it ends up giving this little crossover so much style and tons of personality. For more expert car reviews, don't forget to share our channel and subscribe so you can catch some of this and maybe even a little of that. So sometimes when car makers try to give you these vintage inspired special edition models, they'll maybe throw in a color of paint, give you a badge and call it a day. So it ends up feeling kind of lazy, but luckily Ford really committed to this special edition model and the results are fantastic. And the Bronco Sport was already so retro to begin with because of that boxy shape and those great circular headlights, but they've added in all these little details to really elevate it even more. The biggest and best one is probably this white grille with the contrast red lettering, which I think looks fantastic. Another detail I love is this vintage Bronco lettering with this pinstripe, which is a great callback to the old model. This white contrast roof, also one of my favorites. I also love these white wheels because they remind me of those old school dog dish wheels from back in the day, which is so cool to see. And besides looking really stylish, the Bronco Sport also excels at being extremely practical. So something it does that a lot of other vehicles don't do these days is that this glass part flips up independently, which makes it a lot more practical for you just to quickly grab something without all your other stuff tumbling out. So that's great to see. Besides that, the Bronco Sports trunk is full of very clever and practical features. First of all, the trunk and the seat backs are lined in its thick, durable rubber. So if you are an outdoorsy driver, you don't have to worry about bringing in your muddy or wet equipment because it's very easy to clean. The other thing I really love is that this cargo cover doubles as a workbench and there's even a ruler embossed right on it to make it even more practical. I also love the fact that this fold out table is here, which is perfect for tail tailgating and a couple other features I love in here there's a power outlet there's cargo clips and there's even a bottle opener so all of those clever features really help elevate this small crossover good thing we got all that other stuff done and out of the way because it's raining now so that's fun um, but now that we are driving the Ford Bronco Sport I can tell you all about how it drives so most of these are powered by a one and a half liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine with 181 horsepower and 190 pound-feet of torque now you might be thinking hey that doesn't sound like a lot of power for a vehicle this big and you're probably going to be right because this does feel a little bit underpowered. You know, in the city, going from stoplight to stoplight, it feels perfectly adequate. It's more than enough, but it does kind of struggle on the highway when you really want to pass someone. It takes a long time to get you there. Um, and the other thing that kind of stuck out was that the eight speed automatic transmission is sometimes a little bit slow to react. And when it does, it's a little bit clunky. So I wish it was more refined that way, but none of those are deal breakers. I actually really enjoy the way this Ford Bronco Sport drives. It's very accessible. The steering is pretty good, except for like a little bit of a dead point in the middle there, but it's really easy to drive. And you know what, compared to the big Bronco, it's that that SUV is built for hardcore off-roading. It's purpose built. And most people don't need something that hardcore, but this Bronco Sport is definitely capable enough for most outdoorsy people, you know, going on a few trails and whatnot. Um, it also has what it cleverly calls goat modes, which stands for goes over any terrain. And that kind of just optimizes the different settings depending on what conditions you're in. And so in general, I really enjoy how this vehicle drives. And one benefit of having that smaller engine instead of the, the upgraded two liter one is fuel economy. So this one is officially rated to get 8.9 liters per 100 kilometers, which is pretty good for a vehicle of this size and one that has all wheel drive. I've been getting a little bit higher than that, but that's to be expected. Because this is a special edition Bronco Sport, they did a lot of details in here to really elevate it as well. So the first off, 
are these great seats. They're covered in cloth, but it looks and feels a little bit like denim. And they have this really cool like retro plaid pattern, which I think adds a lot of personality to the interior. They also kind of jazz things up with a couple different trims in here to keep it interesting. Um, there are a little bit of hard plastics used, which I'm not a huge fan of. And some of them are already scratched up and this is a pretty new vehicle. So I can't imagine how much more scratched up they would get under regular use. And especially if you have kids, and I don't usually mention stuff like fit and finish anymore because these days it's usually flawless. But it did stand out to me in the Bronco Sport because there are a couple trim pieces that are not secured that tightly. So I kind of wish it felt more refined in here. But for the most part, I really like it. You know, the layout is very intuitive. Everything is clearly labeled. It makes sense. There's a lot of hard buttons used for a lot of the functions, which is great. The touchscreen itself is fast and responsive, although I do wish that they added a home button to make it easier to toggle between like Android Auto and all the other Ford system stuff. Right now it just takes a bit too many taps to get stuff done, so I wish that was a little bit easier to use. And other than that, again, I'm pretty happy with everything in here. You know, there's tons of practical little storage cubbies everywhere. There's zippered pockets on the back of these seats. There's little pockets on the side for your phone. And it's those kind of clever, very practical touches that I really love about the Bronco Sport. So in terms of safety features, most Bronco Sports come with everything that you would expect, you know, stuff like blind spot monitoring, lane keep control, um, automatic emergency braking, cross junction assist, all of that stuff is included. Uh, this one has the add-on adaptive cruise control, which is great. And in terms of pricing, this one I'm driving kind of falls in the middle of the Bronco lineup. It starts at around 42 grand and with a bunch of different options, it ends up being around 48 grand, which I think is actually pretty decent value. But for that price, I would really expect the refinement level to be a little bit higher. But honestly, I might consider buying this SUV based on style alone. I just think it's so cool. To recap, I love the Bronco Sport's retro style, immense practicality, and all of those clever touches. Something I'm not a fan of is that the base engine feels a bit underpowered, and I wish the SUV as a whole felt a bit more refined. I love the big Bronco, but for someone like me who barely goes off-roading, it's definitely pretty overkill. And so I love the Bronco Sport because it brings you kind of that same personality and swagger, except in a format that's a lot more approachable and practical. And I love the Bronco Sport because it brings you all of these clever, thoughtful details and also a joyful design. And I think in this segment and at this price point, that's something that's really hard to find. So if that joyful design and style is something that's important to you, you should definitely check out the Ford Bronco Sport. Right.